The sport of boxing parallels life like nothing else. In both, you cannot run nor hide. Eventually, you must face the truth. As was proven when a last-minute replacement, Andy Ruiz Jr., wrote his own unbelievable story. Andy Ruiz is the heavyweight champion, and Andy Ruiz has shocked the world. But six months later, the rematch revealed Andy Ruiz's cold, hard truth. He is losing his championship belts here tonight. In the aftermath, Ruiz reassessed his career and his life. Now, armed with the number one trainer in boxing today, Ruiz chose to pursue greatness once again. Andy Ruiz fights for redemption. And Andy Ruiz will climb back into the ring to find that truth. It's really important to face my own truth because I want to prove people wrong, you know? I wasn't just a one-hit wonder. I want to get those titles back. Chris Ariola has searched for truth his whole career. And this one is over! Chris Ariola! Ariola was lauded as the one to be the first heavyweight champion of Mexican descent. But that never came to fruition. I wanted to be that man that Andy is now. The 40-year-old battle-scarred, proud and perseverant Ariola quite simply loves to fight. My truth is, I was born a fighter. I fight for myself, I fight for my family, I fight because I love it. On May 1st, a night of reckoning will come for two fighters facing their collective and individual truth. Win, lose, or draw, I come to fight. I want to be remembered. That's why I'm in boxing. I'm in boxing to be a, a, a world heavyweight champion. We're both Mexican warriors. He don't give up, I don't give up. We like to bang. We're not scared of getting hit. This is going to be an all-action fight. This is PBC Fight Camp. Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Chris Ariola. Searching for a new truth, coming off the dispiriting loss to Anthony Joshua, Ruiz reached out to fellow Mexican and pound-for-pound -pound king Saul Canelo Alvarez for help in his comeback. <laughs> Now, under the guidance of Alvarez's trainer, Eddie Reynoso, Ruiz trains for his upcoming fight against Chris Ariola on May 1st, with a blueprint for what it takes to be great right in front of him. He is learning and he is seeing how he works, how is the discipline in this gym, and I think that he has served a lot Andy to motivate Here, they don't play around. It's discipline, work hard, or if not, then you just gotta leave and move on. It's <laughs> Y sobre todo también en que baje un poquito de peso para que se pueda mover mejor en el ring. I was at 310 pounds. I'm like at 257 right now. Now, I'm moving like Anello, you know? Uh, my mentality is different. I'm more disciplined. I'm more focused. The most important thing is I know what I want and I know what I need to accomplish. And the first fight, I got down, I got back up. That's exactly what I did after my last defeat. I got down, I got up, and now we're heading on the right track. Tú si dices mucho de amateur, Canelo? 45. ¿Tú cuándo dices amateur, Randy? Tiempo. Como 120 peleas. Pero tenía siete años de mi primer. Por ahí estaba aprendiendo poco, poco. Hoy le echa ganas. Sí. I feel lucky, I feel blessed we have been raised in not just California, but Southern California, Los Angeles County. So many Hispanics, so many Mexicans. Boxing culture in Southern California is a big thing. I believe that boxing is a Hispanic-driven sport. The Mexican style of boxing to me means uh, guts and glory. You take two to get one good one. It's just constant pressure that we bring. 
that's the kind of fighter that I consider myself and that we love as a Mexican. Long expected to be the first Mexican-American heavyweight champion, Chris Ariola is loved and revered by the Mexican boxing community. Now at age 40, he is preparing to face fellow Mexican-American Andy Ruiz, who managed to succeed where Ariola fell short. I got the opportunity to fight Andy because when we were younger, uh, we sparred when I was 25, 26 years old. He was 17 years old. And actually, it was a very good uh, sparring session, and uh, I knew eventually I was going to have to deal with him. Every time that he would fight, I was like, no, I want to be the first Mexican heavyweight champion. No. We both had the same dream. We both had the same visions, but I was the, the first Mexican heavyweight champion. I always wanted to be the first Mexican to win the title, but uh, I'm not him. But winning the title, I'll take, a, I'll take the second Mexican. That'll be cool. Ariola's quest for that elusive belt has not been without setbacks. After three disappointing title losses, Ariola began to reevaluate his boxing truth in seeking a championship. There's no shame in getting knocked down, none at all. The shame is not getting back up. It just made me want to win even more. It just made me want to be a better version of myself. That's why I changed and came to train with Joe Goosen because I needed it. I needed a change. Because every so often, it's a, right? No, yeah, That's right. I said we're, we're playing the inside game. That's yeah, all. yeah. Okay, here we go. My relationship with Joe, honestly, it's almost like a father-son kind of relationship. You know, I get what he says. I understand him. His mindset, it's different. It's not no cookie cutter. Ain't no pussy footing around. One line, my thought about Chris Ariola, and that's game player. He is a game player. That's probably my best compliment I can give to a fighter. We joke around here and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whether we're joking, whether we're talking crap to each other, whatever it is, it's always work. It's constant work. Yeah, 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 okay, get to work. You know, that's, that's the way it goes. Last one, Chris. Yeah. I always say that tomorrow's coming. That's my mindset right now. Tomorrow's coming, and what have you done today to be ready for tomorrow? And I'm trying to leave not one stone unturned. Good. Good day. Yeah. Very short, very fast. Hands were coming back good. Elbows were in. I liked it. You had a good defensive posture while you were ripping off punches. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boxing and life are exemplified exceedingly in failure. For when you are knocked down, the truth is found in the courage of your conviction to get back up and fight. Both of these boxers have been knocked down, but not out. And now, the quest for each of their truths is the driving force for their May 1st heavyweight clash. Every fight, I'm trying to better myself and be in the pinnacle of, of my sport. No matter what fight it is, no matter who you are, I keep coming. What motivates me now is becoming a two-time heavyweight champion of the world and getting the bounce back. The truth is out there. Andy Ruiz and Chris Ariola continue their search for it. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.